most important challenge in Africa today is access to sustainable energy. The match of the Danish company's knowledge in the energy sector to the Kenyan needs is right. That's why Danish companies should move now. East Africa is among the fastest growing commercial markets in the world today with yearly growth rates of up to 7%. But insufficient and heavily polluting energy supply is stunting the growth in the entire region and creating an environmental hazard instead of a booming economy. Africa has to be investing about 40,000 billion dollars every year but unfortunately we are only getting about 10, 10 billion. So that means we have a shortfall of, of, of 30 billion US dollars to be able to meet the demand of energy in, in Africa. The inadequacy in uh, uh, supply of energy has a huge uh, negative impact in uh, social development and uh, it hampers the processes in poverty eradication. In 2013, uh, Kasese received the worst flood in 50 years because the glaciers on top of Mount Nanzori had melted. We expect that if we do not use the kind of green energy, the kind of sustainable energy, these kind of catastrophic consequences are going to move from bad to worse. Danish companies are world famous for being experts on green energy solutions and even though there's a long way from the frosty Scandinavia to the warm heart of Africa, Danish expertise and innovative solutions are in demand on the equator. I would say the timing is right because of the readiness of the country to welcome foreign investors and foreign suppliers of technology and also for a very encouraging policy to welcome new solutions in the country's energy provision. And a lot of investments are already being made. So if we want to be part of that, we should move now. The Danish green tech companies CO2 light and Danish solar heat are on the verge of making it big in Eastern Africa. In 2013, they established the company Solar Power Africa and have installed a demonstration solar power system on the Kampala industrial plant roofings to prove that solar panels is the right choice for bigger scale solutions. The solutions that have been uh, put forward in the market in Uganda are largely domestic and they are battery backed and um, those are quite expensive. We believe that uh, whatever solution we use uh, must work hand in hand with the uh, existing power grid in, in such a way that um, when the sun is available, uh, energy is being produced. And when the sun goes down, the user switches back to the grid. However, big scale solar parks aimed at industries and large cities is not an option for the 93% of the population that has no grid connection. In the village of Budaka, in the eastern part of Uganda, chicken farmers in need of energy for their incubators found the right solution in a Danish solar panel system that has allowed them to double their production nine times over, creating immediate profits locally and sparking an instant business model. After traveling in Africa for 28 years, I have seen very little development taking place in the villages uh, due, first of all, to lack of basic infrastructural requirements such as power. And that's why poultry and solar energy came into my mind. The business model is to provide uh, people in rural areas with a business opportunity, uh, which will increase their income and make it possible for them to actually to pay back the system over a period of five to six years. I will be better off myself and my neighbors also, I call my neighbors so that we work hand in hand, that we uplift the standard of living of this, ourselves and our life. Gaining access to consumers in remote areas in Africa is not an easy task if you don't have any knowledge of the local network. In Kasese, WWF has initiated the Green Energy Champion District, a project that involves a wide range of local, national and international partners. One of them is access to innovation. 
a Danish network organization that couples NGOs with university researchers and private companies in order to develop sustainable solutions. Well, the key for building up a viable business for a Danish company in Africa is um, basically about your ability to build up partnerships with local stakeholders. That could be uh, NGOs, it could be local government, or of course private sector already operating. As they've got uh, resources, competences and network that uh, otherwise would be out of, uh, of reach if you're starting up from scratch. By working in partnerships, new business models and financial structures evolve that involve local partners and Danish companies as well as local government and creates a whole new platform for bringing sustainable energy to Africa in a commercially viable way, creating jobs in Denmark as well as in Africa. We have given our commitment, we are sure they get access, easy access to land. Where possible, we shall even give them land uh, 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 for free. We have also another incentive mainly to companies which are ready to invest in clean renewable energy. We are waving off all the local taxes. In, so long as you are coming to invest in any activity related to uh, mitigation of, uh, of, of destruction of the environment. The situation is that the market potential is very attractive and that there is a very good match. But the reality on the ground should be understood and addressed before we approach this market. Kenya is not Europe. You have to be open. You have to enter into cooperation with a local partner. You have to understand the market me mechanisms. You have to have time, patience and resources and talk to people who understand this market before you do anything. The energy market in East Africa is ready and waiting for Danish green tech that aims at both large-scale grid solutions as well as smaller-scale off-grid systems. But companies should have a keen eye on basing their market approach on business models that fit into an African context. Take your time to choose the right partners and the right network and use the Danish embassies as well as organizations like Access to Innovation that are designed to help you build the right platform for your future business.